Hello everyone. Today we're going to take a look at how to make a test or a little quiz using Google Forms. So you're signed into Google or you're at your Google page. You need to sign into your documents and I'm going to do that by clicking on this tab up here that says Drive, but yours will say Documents. Unless of course you get Google Drive and so then we come over here and we click on Create and we select Form. The form opens up and here we have a couple of options. We can choose our theme, but let's do that later. First of all, we're going to title our test and we'll call it Mother's Day Quiz. And here we can add any helpful text that the students might need to understand the quizzes, uh, the questions. In question title over here, you're going to ask them what their name is. Last name is always what I use. And then the type of question you're going to choose here are the options. So paragraph, text, multiple choice, check boxes, check boxes, choose from a list, scale, and grid. So for uh, the name question, it's just a simple short answer. So we choose text and we make sure that we make it a required question. The sample question two is where you're going to start <clears throat> your actual questions. And so I recommend that you get into the habit of numbering them. And let's make this first question. So our first question will be, is Mother's Day observed <clears throat> around the world. So I'm going to make this a multiple choice question. I don't need to add any helpful text in here. And multiple choice, it can be a true or false question, but let's say multiple choice uh, option A. Mm, yes, but not in China. That's silly, but it's just for the purposes. No only here in Canada and then I can put just for the sake of this silly little thing here none of the above and let's add another question so we come up here now and we click on add item and here we can choose which um, kind of question we're going to 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 select and so let's choose from mm, a list Let's see what that looks like. So second question will be, uh, remember, put question number two. Who invented Mother's Day? <clears throat> and choose from a list. And so our list here is going to be option one. Henry Ford, option two, uh, Aretha Franklin, and option three, Anna Jarvis, who was the actual inventor of Mother's Day. Let's have one more question and let's make it check boxes. So I've gone ahead and I finished this third question here. So what was the occasion that commemorated the first Mother's Day? And I've chosen check boxes, you see. And uh, so I've said the many mothers who lost their sons in America, President Roosevelt to one. I was just being silly here. And so I'm just going to keep it at three questions. And I'm going to make sure that this is a required question. Did I do that for question two? Now I need to check. So let me come over to the pencil, which brings me into edit mode. And um, I think I did. So it looks like it's good. And so let's say that we're ready. No, I didn't hear. Make this required question. If you don't do that, then the student can take the quiz and forget to uh, do that question or purposefully not do the question and then 
um, you won't have all of the answers. So now our um, quiz is done and if you want to see what it looks like you can click down here at the link and it will bring you to the web page and this is what it will look like here. First question, multiple choice, second question, drop down menu, and third question you have your list. But this is a little bit boring and we might like to have something a little bit more interesting to look at. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back to our Mother's Day quiz and we're going to go to the live form. So this brings us to the spreadsheet. Now these are where your answers are going to be populated on the spreadsheet. How do you get back to the live form so that you can edit it? Well, it's pretty easy. These two I don't need. You're going to go into form and you're going to go to edit form and it brings you back into this this phase here. And so what I wanted to show you is we can choose a theme and there are hmm, I think 97 of them. And so let me just choose uh, this one. And there's my quiz and I'm going to apply. Now I want to embed it on the wiki because that's where they're going to be taking them. So I can come over here, go into more actions, and before I grab the embed code, I'm going to edit the confirmation, and that's the, the message that they get when they finish the quiz. And so I'm going to say, good work. And if I want them to see a summary of everybody's answers, I can click here, and they will see that. But I don't want them to, so I'm going to save that. Now I'm going to come into here, and I'm going to grab the embed code just copy that and I'm going to navigate over to the wiki and create a page and then just paste it right onto the page by going into the insert tab create the page I'll name the page Mother's Day quiz, put the page in a folder if I want to. I'll just put it into assignments just so that you can see. Don't forget that you can change your page security. So I'm going to make it hidden because they're, they don't know that they're going to have this little pop quiz. And now I come to the wiki and over here on insert, I'm going to click that little arrow right there. And it's going to scroll all the way down to HTML Java. That's that magic grab bag and control V paste my code in there. Now here these two numbers here determine the height the width and the height of the form. If I want it to be smaller then I would just come in here and change the say the 7 to a 5 and do the same thing for the for the other aspect for so for the both height and a width, depending on what it is that you want. Because sometimes if you're embedding that in um, in a blog or in another uh, website and you, you don't want it to be too large. So remember to click Allow JavaScript and click Next and then insert the plugin and save your page. And this is what it will look like. You can open this page up by clicking on this arrow. And this is what it will look like <clears throat> on the page. And so the students will come to the page and let me just show you what it looks like. <clears throat> so I'm going to put uh, answer key. So I'm going to take the test and I'm going to say, mm, well, uh, none of the above because it was actually, is Mother's Day observed around the world? Uh, yes, it is. China, that's just silly. No, only here. That's right. So number one and two are wrong. So none of the above, the correct answer is not there. Who invented Mother's Day? <clears throat> Anna Jarvis. What was the occasion that commemorated the first Mother's Day? Well, it was the the uh, the peaceful mothers, was the peace committees uh, made up of the mothers who had lost their sons to both sides of the Civil War. And so I'm just going to click Submit because I want you to see what it looks like. Um, and there's your... Um, your edit confirmation coming in. I want you to see what it will look like when the students start to take the test. And so this will be their last name and then you will see that the answers that are here are the choices that you gave them. 
And it's as easy as that. And in the, uh, in the next video, we're going to look at how we can go to uh, Tools here, go into the Script Gallery, and find Fluberoo so we can uh, correct our quiz. And that's it for now.